highly active containment. Does it mean we have to work with robots? Hello, welcome to my blog and welcome here. Christian Link, he is Director of Application Engineering at Ulm Packaging Systems. And how do you see roboting in, in uh, applications mm. like ours for OSD? Yeah, I, I've, seen, I've seen what you're doing and it's, it's very interesting. Uh, so far, we, we've thought about robotics, but there were several reasons why we, at this point in time, um, have not applied them. And one is really space, because mm. uh, we, we try to minimize the space in the containment system um, to the utmost minimal um, space for cleaning purposes. Uh, and of all, all ex air exchanges, filtration, and so on and so on. So adding a robot to the inside of this containment will really increase the room by about 50, 60, 70 percent and then you have to clean it of course. And then you look at um, the, 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 the benefits where at this point, and we can talk about that later, um, we, 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 don't re we do not really see the benefits. Yeah. But, but let me ask you, where, where do you and your customers see the ben benefits in your application? I think today it is more that they are looking at, at uh, very high potent and even more high potent mm. uh, 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 active ingredients where they go down to less than 10 my, uh, na nanogram per meter cube that's permissible in the atmosphere. And that means that, that uh, um, you somehow have to protect, protect your operators and the next product um, that is not contaminated. And so there applications with robots that people think about that. Mm -hmm. And, and so when you're handling the pure uh, active ingredient, then maybe okay. there's something. Yeah, and that's, you know, when, when we get the product that's finished and the dilution is at a level where we do not have that toxicity level. Um, and, and we also have to say, I mean, in the, the process within the packaging machine are fully automatic. There is no need for interaction for a robot mm -hmm. in any sort. And then when it comes to changeovers, the, we we um, designed everything in there so it's it's very lightweight. So if you use robots to take a uh, heavy burden off the operators, there's no need for it in a blister machine because by design we've taken care of that. Mm -hmm. So it's relatively easy for an operator, or it is easy for an operator to remove all the parts and, and bring them outside. So at this point in time, I really do not see a the big benefit, benefit. Yeah. And, and I think most of my customers would agree with me on that one because yeah. we haven't really had people pushing really hard for it on yeah. our end of it. But people are looking uh, for ways to simplify uh, the processes and they're, they're looking for ways to reduce the amount of manpower they need for changeover. So, mm -hmm. so that's what we are focusing us on is how can we reduce the amount of parts? How can we make it easier? How can we make it cheaper um, to, to operate and run the system? Yeah. But that's our main focus. And I think there are certain applications, if you look at toxicity and weight, they're really, yeah, a robot is, 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 is a good, good alternative. Yeah, but it's handling. And it's to, to, to something that, that helps the operator because mm -hmm. it's very heavy. And it's not the reason that containment makes in our applications, when you're, when you're doing packaging in your application, that then a robot will be required. Because containment, in our case, we're, we're really working with the diluted uh, uh, mixtures mm -hmm. and, and, and we're not with a pure API. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. We've seen very interesting thoughts on robotics. Thank you, Christian, for being here with us and discussing with me to topics like that. We see robotics is something which is very exotic for OSD production. The reason is the dilution and, and uh, the, the required space that uh, um, when we are working with, with robots. So that's not always making uh, things easier. And we will see what the future brings, if uh, there are even more toxic and more potent uh, um, medicines and, and APIs that uh, make the requirement more necessary in the future. 
Thank you very much for being here in my blog. It was a pleasure, like always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. So stay healthy and stay tuned.